friends. Welcome to Yoga for Golf. I'm doing this on my back deck today with my two dogs wandering around, so just ignore them if they get in the way. Yoga is great for warm-up for any game or any exercise, but particularly for golf, because in golf we use our arms and our upper body and we twist our spine so much. We need all parts of our body, core, back, arms, shoulders, knees, everything engaged. So yoga will help you warm up your body, but it'll also help you manage your breath and center your mind on your game. All you need is an iron. So grab a relatively short iron, one that comes how oh, about to your waist so you can use it for balance. And then we'll begin with some breathing exercises to make us mindful of our movements. Take your club out in front of you, holding it with both hands. Let your legs be, oh, about hip-width distance apart. Your feet are about hip-width distance apart. And then take a big inhale up to start. This is an upward salute in yoga. Look up. Deep inhale and stretch up. And then exhale as you sigh out through your mouth. And then let your head grow heavy, chin towards your chest. Find your mountain pose, which is our strong standing pose. Tighten your quads, hamstrings, and glutes, those butt muscles. Navel to spine, engaging your core to start with. And then take several long, slow breaths in and out through your nose. Try to make your breaths as long on the inhale as they are on the exhale. Taking in as much of that fresh oxygen as you can. And exhaling out as much as you can, getting rid of all the air you don't need. And while we do our yoga today, I encourage you to think about that. Take what you need, whether it's in breath or movement, and leave the rest. Leave what you don't need. It's okay to push yourself, but don't ever take anything to a point of pain. Notice the movement of your breath. As you inhale, let your belly expand and your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles relax. And then as you exhale, pull your navel towards your spine, tighten your glutes, pull your navel in up towards your heart, and feel that core engage. Exhale, belly relaxes. Inhale, everything contracts. On your next inhale, raise your arms up high. Look up. Take a big inhale. And then lean up and over to the right, pushing your left hip to the side. Armpits are both pointed toward me. Shine your head, headlights forward. And then come back up to center. Lean over to the other side, pushing your right hip out. And back up. Inhale, look up. Exhale as you take a tiny back bend, pulling your biceps back by your ears, feeling that stretch in the upper shoulders. Straighten out again. Exhale, let your hands come down. Inhale, up. This time we're going to twist to the right. So lean over gently and then twist your whole body to the side. It's important to twist our spine as well as bend it back and forth to loosen it up. Get those vertebrae all greased up for that power golf swing. Now straighten back to the front and up to center. Lean over to the left and then take a twist. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. And come back up and to the middle. Now big inhale up, bend your knees deeply and push that club toward me. Look down at the ground, lengthen your neck, let your belly pull in towards your ribs and balance above your thighs, and then exhale, fold all the way forward. And we're in our first forward fold. So bend your knees slightly, let your head be hanging loosely. Shake your head yes and no a couple of times, and then sway your body side to side while you keep your lower Everything below your hips still. And then pause in the middle. Inhale, take a half lift. 
pull your shoulders toward your back, away from your ears, and exhale, fold. Then inhale, slowly rise up one vertebra at a time till you're all the way up. Big inhale up and exhale down. So that's a variation of a sun salutation if you've ever done yoga again. We're going to do it again and add on a little bit, and then we'll do some stretching poses. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, over to the side. This time, bend your elbow, keeping the left arm as straight as you can and full, getting a deeper stretch in the left side body. Straighten it out and come up. Inhale, up. Bend to the left, push right hip over, bend the left elbow, and back up. Back, bend back, fold forward, all the way down this time. Inhale as you lift halfway, exhale as you fold forward, inhale as you rise all the way up, and exhale, arms down. I take the face of your club out in front of you. Grip goes down on the ground for balance. Bend your right knee, bend your right elbow, and lift your left arm up. And you're going to push that left hip out a little bit. You get a deep end in the right knee. So you can feel a stretch in the outside of the glute. And then come back to center, switch hands. Bend the left knee and twist up and open to the right. See if you can pull that top shoulder back a little bit. Push the right hip out a little. Keep breathing. It's okay if you get that breath going a little bit, your heart rate up, and come back to center. Now with the club out in front of you, lift up your left knee and take it back behind you in a warrior one position, and I'll explain that to you. Warrior one, the front knee is bent deeply. Your back foot's at about 45 degrees and it's straight. Your back glute, that left glute, is tight and strong. Take the club out in front of you and lift it up. You can always do that with one hand. You can use the club for balance anytime you need to. Once you're up there, bend toward the bent knee, over to the right, stretching long and center, and to the other side, and center. Brace the club back in front of you. Step forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale down. Right leg is going to go back behind you now. Into your warrior one on the other side. Left knee is bent. And again, club can be down. Right foot 45 degrees. Reach up, arms back by your ears. Lean to the left and center and to the right and center and back. Bring your foot forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold all the way down. When you get there, heel toe your feet to the side. Oh, about a foot and a half and point your toes to the corner. Then bend your knees deeply using the club. And this is a goddess pose. Holding the club out in front of you. Just sway your hips side to side. We got to have some hip opening in, in golf and stand all the way up. Now flip your right toe so it's pointed to the side. Your back foot is parallel and your back leg is straight. Now bend the front knee deeply and come into a warrior two pose. Pull your inner thighs toward each other for balance and then reverse that warrior left hand comes down and come back up and then lean over the bent knee and back up flip your right toe forward flip your left toe to the side finding that warrior two on the other side remembering you can use the club push your pinky toe of the straight leg down reverse your warrior bending to the back and back through to the front and up Bring your feet together, point your heels toward each other, and see if you can come into a lower goddess pose now. Open it up through the hip flexors, and just stand up and bring your legs back toward each other. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold to the side. 
twist and up and back to center over to the other side twist and up and back to center take your back bend and exhale down let's do a few hamstring stretches now so take your right leg out about two or three feet let that left foot be again pointed forward right leg is straight take your hands up high and lean over toward your right leg now i like to use the club here because you can get deeper into the hips put your right hand on the club lean toward the straight leg and take your other arm up high feeling a deep stretch maybe in that right hamstring come back to center now flip your toes so that the back foot is at 45 degrees and the front leg is still straight. You're pointed to the side. And we're going to take a, a pyramid pose here. Your chest comes down with a flat back. Your chest is coming towards your leg. Reach your arms out if you want. You can take your hands down to your thigh. Just go to your degree of flexibility. Do not pull that upper hamstring. That's an injury you don't want to ever have. Feeling a deep stretch in your right hamstring. Slowly come up, flip your feet forward, and then take the left foot to the side. And we're going to take that triangle pose on this side. Again, you can have the club in your hands and lean toward that hip. You're hinging over the left hip. Or you can take the club down, get a deeper bend. Your left hand can also go to the shin or the ground if you'd like. Since we're playing golf, it's Use the club, look up towards your hand. Maybe you see birds, there's blue sky or clouds. Come back up slowly, flip the back heel so we can get that pyramid on this side. Hands are high, lean forward over that flat back down, bringing your chest towards your thigh. Deep stretch again in your hamstring. Now flip your toes back to the front, bring your legs together. Let's do one more big sun salutation. Inhale up, take a back bend. Bend your elbows so that they come a little bit backward and the club is behind your head if possible. And then lean back, taking the club back, the elbows back, big stretch in the front of your shoulders across your clavicle across the front of your chest and then rise up and forward fold all the way down shake your head yes and no and rise up bend your right elbow up take your left arm straight down behind you pull that straight arm as you stretch your right elbow up and come back to center reach up Bend the left elbow and pull down with the right arm. Good job. Now take the club behind you. One more good shoulder stretch. Your hands can be close together or they can be wide apart on the club. It doesn't matter. Your palms are face up. Now hinge forward at the hips. Slight bend in your knees. Look down. Lift the club off your tailbone, stretching up. Let your head hang loosely. Feel a deep stretch in the front of your shoulders. Take a couple of breaths here. Now release the club down, put it in front of you. One more big twist to the side, then left knee deeply, twist up and open to the right. Right arm goes high, look up towards your hand, pull your shoulder back. Bring the right hand down, bend the right knee deeply, twist up and open to the left and bring that arm down one more inhale up exhale bring it down you can let the club go down beside you find a comfortable stance or even if you'd like to sit down in a chair if one's nearby we're going to just bring our heart rate down with a few more focused breaths 
So inhale, raise your shoulders up high. Exhale, let them go back behind you. Palms face forward. Let your right ear go to your right shoulder, feeling a stretch in your neck. Now if it's not too deep a stretch, take your left hand, don't, I mean your right hand, don't pull. Just rest it gently on your head and take the left hand behind you. Lean over, deeper stretch in the left side of the neck, and rise back up. Inhale your shoulders up and back. Take your left hand up, left ear to your right shoulder. Right hand goes behind, and you can lean over if you want a deeper stretch. And release and come up. Let your head go back. That doesn't hurt your neck at all. Be very conscious of that cervical vertebra. And then bring your chin slowly to your chest. Sway your head side to side. Yes and no a few times, making sure your neck is loose. Have a slight bend in your knees. Let your eyelids grow heavy and look toward the ground. Let your breath return to a normal pace. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Taking several deep breaths. Watching the motion of your breath. Feel your heart rate coming down. Now for the last couple of moments, just reflect on your breath. Meditate on the sounds around you. Maybe it's birds or a lawnmower. If you're lucky enough to be on the golf course, and maybe the sounds of people striking their balls. Center your mind. Return to your breath. And maybe you want to make an intention for your golf game today. Maybe it's to be mindful of your core. Maybe it's to focus more on your breath. Maybe it's just to feel your emotions and notice what you're doing more. On your next inhale, rise up, look up, bring your hands to a prayer position and then bring them down to heart center. Thank you for doing golf yoga with me today. I hope you feel energized and ready to play. And namaste to all of you.